I sit um, with Paul Binder as the chair on the on the vaccine advisory committee, the medical advisory committee. Um, our discussions are about um, rollout, about safety, and about ensuring that this is going to be a safe vaccine that we would all endorse um, when we decide to do so. People need to be reassured that the companies that are developing these vaccines, the FDA, and the other independent regulatory bodies like the Vaccine Advisory Committee uh, and the American Committee on Immunization Practice are not going to allow a vaccine to be released unless we know that it's safe. The two mRNA vaccines that we think are furthest along, um, two issues I think that are true of both of them, well three issues. One is we've never had an mRNA vaccine before, so this would be a new platform for a new vaccine and that is warranted in these pandemic times. The second is that both require two doses. I believe one is 21 days apart, the other is 28 days apart. And then the third is that both really do require a potent cold chain. And we're talking, you know, minus 70 in order to keep these vaccines viable throughout until they're really dosed. One of the key issues that the uh, committees and, and the groups dealing with how to roll out a vaccine uh, through MGB uh, is ensuring that there is equity in access to the vaccine. That means equity across the workforce and that means equity across the throughout the community uh, for all of our patients. We just have an exceptional group of scientists, of clinicians, of research assistants, of staff, of support in our community and of outreach to our community. I think we're really fortunate to have an incredible uh, group working together uh, both within the system and with local government and state government to make sure that we are doing everything we can to bring COVID-19 under control here in the Commonwealth.